Okay, hello everybody. I'm very happy to present um, my work here in Vienna. I hope you still have a bit of attention. So um, uh, the, the title of my talk is um, uh, Our Body Dimension, Maturity and Performance and Playing Position. Uh, playing Position and hand Handedness Dependent. So, so as you can see on the in the title, uh, in, the, in this uh, figure, in this graph, sorry, uh, you can see that uh, the French Federation have won, uh, had won a lot of titles. And as you can see, there's a um, parallel increase of the, of the number of players. So um, it has become a developmental issues for the French uh, Handball Federation because the more you have uh, players, the more you can win titles. And the more players you, the more titles you have, and the more players you have also. So it's uh, as becoming a, a developmental issue for the French Federation. Sorry. So uh, as you, uh, as most of you are aware, uh, the most part of the of a number game is playing in the position attack. So uh, in stabilized attack. So uh, the playing position are very important. And as you can see in, the, um, in these pictures, uh, the, the playing position in red are held by uh, left-handed players. So um, in, most of the, in most of the teams, you, you have at least four, uh, four, uh, four left-handed pl players in each uh, team. So what do we know? So before going any further in the, in the discussion, a brief overview of the literature. So as you can see, uh, there's a lot of, uh, of uh, things to know. And for example, the, the body mass, uh, and we know that the pivots are the heavier and the wing players the lightest. Uh, regarding the stature, uh, the back players and pivot, back players, pivots, and goalkeepers are taller than the other than the other playing positions. Uh, the encore demands are largely uh, influenced by the, by the playing position. Uh, the maturity influence also, uh, matur the maturity influence also the performance outcome. And uh, regarding the performance profile, it's still unclear uh, whether the, um, the pivots, the, whether the wings, are the backs are, are the, the quickest. It depends on the study, and there are many, many studies also performed by some people here. So uh, it's not the, the performance profile, sorry, is not very clear yet. So, uh, what's the main limitation of, uh, of the study? Uh, few studies have taken into account the playing position, and um, the majority of the studies have merged some playing position together. For example, uh, the backs uh, are merged with the, the lateral backs are merged with are in the same categories as the as the center backs. Uh, to date, only one studies have uh, considered body dimension relating to the playing position and handedness. But the problem is that, uh, for example, in France, we only have about 10% of the people that are left-handed. And I think it's the case in, uh, in Europe, uh, more or less. So, uh, so the problem is that, um, for example, if you bring uh, right backs that have to be uh, also tall and left, uh, left-handed, uh, is that this, the, this kind of players, the right backs, for example, uh, do they have the same uh, level of requirement when compared to, uh, to uh, a right-handed players, for example, uh, a wing players. So, so that could have a lot of impact on the, on the talent uh, ID. So uh, to address this problem, we have, we have tested 134 players. Uh, they were aged about 14 with uh, five years playing experience. They were selected from five regions of France before uh, going in a regional academy. Uh, during three seasons. 
Uh, we performed this test, uh, 10 meter sprints, uh, 30, meters, uh, 30 meter sprints, uh, counter movement jumps with the arm. We also uh, measured the body mass height and the peak height velocity with the Mirval equation. So for the statistics, we use the, the standardized difference of the mean with the 90% confidence interval and we interpret the, the results with the, with the magnitude-based inferences. And uh, we also use the Pearson's correlation and we use this uh, scale to, to, uh, to evaluate the, the correlation. So uh, data are presented uh, as mean and standard deviation. They all have the same structure. In the horizontal axis, you will find all the playing positions. Uh, the two first are the wings, right wing, left wing. Uh, the, the three others uh, are right back, are the backs, right back, left back, center backs, goalkeeper, and pivot. So in the vertical axis, it will be uh, uh, each time uh, uh, another test. So um, here we have the here we have the the height, and unsurprisingly, and all the interested results are uh, in the dotted lines. And above you have the magnitude of the difference, uh, line thickness representing the magnitude of the difference. So the, the, larger, uh, the larger the difference, the bigger the difference. Okay, so we're getting height. Unsurprisingly, the left wing was the, the smallest of all the players with up to very largely difference. Uh, for the body mass, uh, it's quite the same. With the pivot as uh, the lightest, uh, uh, the heaviest, sorry, heaviest uh, uh, players in the field, and the uh, left wing the lightest. Regarding the the PK velocity, the data was a bit too too sparse, as you can see. And the only thing that we can do is that the pivots are are the all the all the older, or the the more mature. Okay, uh, now regarding the performance profile, as you can see, the goalkeeper and the pivot are the, are the slowest among all the, all the players, unsurprisingly. And uh, for the 30 meter sprints, it's also the same. And now I think this is the most uh, interesting result. Uh, the difference in uh, red show the within uh, playing position difference. So as you can see, there are up to very large difference uh, between the left wings and the other players. And there are also a large difference between uh, left wings and right wings. So now the correlations. For the correlations, unsurprisingly, the pivots are uh, the, the heights and the weights from the pivot were not related. So it's a specific uh, uh, requirements for the coach to find a heavy player. And the same for the, for the performance correlations. As you can see, the, the speed and jump test were not correlated, uh, meaning that for the, for the coaches, the capacity to jump higher is uh, something that they are looking for in the especially for the left wing players. So what's the main finding? It's that the body dimension and the, that players are already playing position profile, already at, uh, at the age of 14, that there are uh, few requirements for the, that there are more requirements, sorry, for the left wing, it's a mistake. Uh, the, P, the, um, the PHV data are to space uh, to be uh, very conclusive, the f that the for the 10 and 30 meters uh, sprints, goalkeepers or pivots are the pivots. Sorry, are the are the the slowest and the wings the fastest, and uh, that for the counter movement jump, there is an effect of the hand and knee. Okay, so uh, no uh, further main finding. So there are no, uh, no relation between uh, maturity and body dimension. And the pivot, pivots have a very specific profile. Uh, and it's the same for the performance test with the left wings that have a very specific profile 
for a, a jumping ability. So uh, that's why it's very important to challenge the coach's belief. Uh, for example, that's a previous study that we have done, and we have found that the relation between uh, uh, flight time and scoring efficiency was not so clear, at least. Uh, and, um, and it's the same for the relation between counter movement jump and uh, flight time during a, wing, uh, um, uh, a shot in the wing. Okay, so um, it's very important to challenge the coaches. And for example, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a clear example that, uh, that the counter movement jump is maybe not very related to the, to the performance in the field. So the right-handed players are more cherry-picked cherry or more selected, uh, but they're also uh, more exposed to the relative age effect. They have to be taller and heavier, that's already shown in a previous study, and they, they may have to be also more athletic than the left-handed players. So we provide, uh, provide a level of requirements related to the playing position. Uh, the others to the, easier, to the easiest, I think it's uh, much more complicated to reach high level in the left wings than in the center backs and the easiest, I think it's the right back. So already finished. So if you want to see a short report, you can go there and we can also discuss. Okay, it's just for the limitation. No, we didn't use any anaerobic tests and it's only valid maybe for the French Handball Federation. And uh, we only had a, a part of the population. And as I said before, maybe we don't have enough players and it, how, uh, how it was done here, it's maybe not also applicable in a, another country. So thank you for your attention. And <laughs>